talk about a really hard subject and it's caregiver abuse. It happens and obviously it's probably way underreported because the people we take care of are often um, at fragile states and um, are just at some sort of progression of their disease. Maybe it's a UTI or a dementia or some sort of tumor and it's hard, um, but the people who care for them, nurses, family members, people who are in the community and see them oftentimes are the ones who suffer the brunt of their disease. And I say this because I think that a lot of times it's just expected or just like, oh, you know, that's part of the job, especially in nursing. We just are told like, you know, this is how you deal with it. But we're never told like, hey, it's not okay. I mean, I have patients who have lied on me. I have um, family members who have diseases and they have said things that weren't true and that were very um, emotionally abusive. And I never thought of myself as being like a victim of that. I just feel like, oh, well, that just happens because I've been told and trained to, on how to deal with it and not been told, hey, it's not okay. It's not okay for me to suffer for your suffering. It's not okay for you to kind of pull me down when you're drowning. And that's what I feel like is happening emotionally uh, in some situations I have been in that I am in the deep with this person who has a disease and they're pulling me down trying to live and drowning me in the process. So what do you do? Um, do you let your natural instincts kick in? Then you get out of there. There's a fight or flight, that's serious. Um, and you have to find a way to deal with it in a, in a healthy way for you. Now for me, what does it look like? Uh, take breaks, um, definitely might have to look into some other care options, getting other people involved or just stepping back. Maybe it's even just having the person assess and evaluate it for what stage they're in in their decline. So you have to accept first that this is not okay. And I'm not okay with suffering because of somebody else's hard time. It's like, it's not okay for me to drown. I'm not okay with drowning. I don't wanna drown. I don't wanna be pulled down. I don't wanna be abused because you're confused. It's not okay for healthcare workers to be abused. It's not okay for family members to be abused. Just because we don't have that diagnosis or that issue um, doesn't mean that we're stronger. Uh, it just means that we don't have to take it. So yeah, I mean, yes, it might look like moving them to a facility that is better suited to care for these kind of situations, or it may look like you're just taking a break and saying, hey, I've got to hire somebody in here, um, taking a vacation and hiring somebody to come take care of your loved one. And they won't understand. They won't. They won't understand what they're doing to you. But you understand fully and you have to take charge of your own health because you are fully present and you are able to navigate what is right, what is wrong, how to deal with these complex situations that they sometimes just don't know how. And so they hit you or they verbally abuse you or they spiritually manipulate you or they say things about you that aren't true. You have to take control of it, of your situation, of your emotions. You don't have to lash out at them. They are incapable of caring for themselves, it's clear. So what do you do? You take control. You don't let them pull you down. You get away from that situation and you move on with your life. You have to. It's going to be hard because you feel like you're abandoning them. You're not abandoning them. You're saving your life. You're saving your life. They will be helped if they want help. You can come back and ask someone else to help them if you're having a hard time with it. But it really is a matter of insight and recognition that you're being drowned by them. So healthcare workers out there, please take care of yourself. Please acknowledge that you need help. Please um, don't just drown. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Your life matters. Your health matters. Your well-being matters. If someone is trying to take advantage of you, you have to put up limitations and say, I can't do this. 
this is not what I'm going to do. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to let you talk about me. I'm not going to allow you to be mean. And if they come back, you, you're being me. I, I'm not going to allow you to talk to me that way anymore. I'm going to leave now and go get help. I'm telling you, it is not okay for us to struggle this way and you're trying to help someone. So this is me reaching out to you, letting you know you have a friend. If you need some advice, put it in the comments. If you have any words of advice for me, please put it in the comments um, and let me know your stories. I plan to share a little bit more on this subject and just kind of like offer a sense of connection for people who are caregivers and healthcare workers or people who care for someone who has um, some sort of dependence on others. You need to recognize when abuse is happening from the ill person and you need to take control.